Hello again. I mean, Jesmond, I've just come from a cemetery just over the road down there. There only appears to be this road that actually separates the two cemeteries. Like I said, in the other one, it's very similar to the graveyard in Scarborough. But you would think <coughs> this entrance, you know, you're going to be walking into some bloody castle or stay at the home where, in reality, it's just Jesmond's old burial ground. So we'll have a wander through and see what we can see. Straight away, heavy duty man all covers. Thing I have to say about this whole area, you know, right the way along the street, all these houses around here are all what we we'll call mud flood, pre reset. The basement levels that have doors and windows in, and you don't put doors and windows in cellars. You know, the doors and windows once opened up out in the street. <coughs> Muse Tynan Weir Museum, Archaeology Department. So yeah, these are, <laughs> these look very similar to the, the usual gatehouses we see out the side. But, oh God, they're colossal. They're in that horrible cladding. You know, I think if you take a hammer and chisel to there, these things aren't solid, lumps of rock. A lot of them are just, it's a form of cladding. Hey, I mean, bloody big Greco man, that structure's done. <coughs> That's interesting. Track marks going in there. I dare say there'll be something in the history books that tells me about that, but. Strange one, this. Christ, I mean, it's difficult to see. You have your, your own evenness of your normal graveyards where the graves collapse, but that's one hell of a big delve down there. So we'll have a wander and see what I'll be able to see. Just have a look on the other side of this one, see if there's out there before we have a wander further inside. I don't know whether there's any chapels in this one, but I would think the age of it, there will be. Uh, little garden, memorial garden. Been something quite big and substantial there once over. Oh yes, oh yes, that's all we need to know. That's all we need to know. Just look at that down there. I wouldn't mind having a wander down there. So, yes, we definitely do have low levels. <laughs> I'm glad to pop around the side. Uh, move a bit further in, see what we can see. Just move on a little bit of it so you can actually feel the difference. Uh, I've just been in somebody just off the other side of the road, <coughs> and it's sort of that thought may sound, it feels very modern, very new. Where this thing. You know, there's serious depressions all over. There's bloody big mounds all over. Uh, I don't know if there's any chapels in here, but I'll have to have a look. So 
See, this looks more than... See, me and my friend Lauren have talked about these places a lot. And possible uses before those cemeteries. You know, it's like it to be part of a building, that. So it really gets me this huge, big raised area here. I'll be able to have a wander up and have a look at that. I'm not usually one for looking at gravestones, but I'll have a wee peep. I'm almost sure there was chapels in this one. You know, it almost looks like this was a bloody big building at one stage, you know. Red brick building, red brick building, red brick works out in there. Clearly this uh, was all enclosed once over. See all the, where the railings have been swiped. God knows who these people are. Obviously people with money but I mean, if this was opened in 1836, that means you're not going to find anything older than that in here. Grave-wise, anyway. But I reckon, you know, I'm actually walking on top of something here. I'd almost feel if we're, you know, halfway up the top of a building, maybe first floor, second floor. See the way everything slopes away down over. And I bet you, if I could take a pick and shovel, I bet you don't go down there 20, 30, 40 foot. But something I'll never find out. It's just my thoughts, and that's all anything is in these videos, my thoughts. You know, we look at these things and <coughs> think of wonderful carving, wonderful masonry. But when you see, it's just a bloody skin put over the top. And these actual letters and numbers are punched in when it's wet. Certainly not carved, like we're told. I mean, this is just really, really bad. So, uh, Top somewhere. Yeah, it's really strange this. And like I say, it looks like the a long building of some sort that I'm walking around the top of. Might as well continue right the way around. Something, you know, me and my friend Lorne have talked about quite often as well. That's the metal work around these graves. Is the more to it than just decoration. You know, go and, go and start researching piezo electricity. You know, look at that bloody big plot there. These are almost like big booms. Oh, looks like the letters have been stuck on there. They have. <laughs> Just letters that have been stuck on. <laughs> Cheap or what? 
somebody's gone over that with pain, God bless him. Dorking, almost like parking, isn't it? Yeah. Right, so we've walked right the way around this big square platform that's up here. I've been looking for manhole covers or these that lift up, but there's nothing obvious. Right, so God knows when I'm going to head off now. Uh, so, living that way, I think. Just seem to another little raised area here. I don't think it's out special. Got it about bits of metal work. Oh shit, where do we go from here? Oh, aye. Nah. Busted shut, you can't get in. Yeah, it's a monument in there of some sort. See it right along here. Where all the metal's being took out. I mean with your brick structures. There's almost like a bloody window there in the corner. Who knows what lies beneath this lot? Again, here going back on myself. Right, but the depth and the degree some of these have sunk down. You know, it looks more than just grave subsidence. You know, there's a pretty big mound over there as well. I'll have to go and investigate it. Just we're coming down off this raised bit. And But they go down quite a ways. The red bricks, you know, all this is just modern stuff, reasonably modern. This is just another raised level. Uh, I haven't brought my torch with me to see down there. Clearly a big hole. <coughs> yeah, I can't get back out that way. So I'll move round a bit. Just before we leave this lovely place, I've just... Well, one thing I've noticed, they've took all the paths out now, so... I don't really want you wandering around here, but tough shit. But when you think of 1850, just before, this place was put into use. You know what's that? 
first I thought it was some sort of cask, but you know, I can't see that being the head bit there. So strange. You know, I have seen these sort of things before, but never with such the narrow angle for the neck there. God knows I might be totally wrong. Anybody knows what this is, tell me, please. If it was for a body, certainly a small one. I'm five foot four and I'll have trouble fitting in that. So at that, I think we'll have a wander off and go and see if I can find this church in Jesmond. Bye for now. A bit noisy, but I've just come out the other side at the cemetery. It looks like there's going to be a service going on, so I don't want to put the camera about too much people in the service. But the point I'm trying to make is I've just shown the entrance to this place. You know, the huge structure it is at the side, you know, the gatehouse. And this obviously is another structure that had a function. You know, I think the top's been capped off. I've just had a look inside, but there's nothing to see because it's been capped off inside as well. <coughs> so, and I thought there was a couple of chapels in this one, but clearly there isn't. But what Desmond does have <coughs> is a great church by all accounts. So, I'll just back up on this place a bit. See, there's people behind me gathering for a service. I don't want to book or pester them. But, you know, it's quite elaborate. Just for the gatehouse, isn't it? You know? This is what I thought was a chapel, but it's clearly a building that... I don't know what it was originally, but I think it's just what the workmen use now. Storing the gear. It's not that big. Lovely little roof on it though. Lovely little chimneys as well. So, let's head off and see what else happens.